everybody! Today's quick review is on a new innovation in the world of brush cleaning. I know that's one of those topics where a lot of people are like, oh, I don't really like to clean my brushes. But this is a pretty cool idea to help out as your brushes dry. And it's called the Benjabel Brush Tree. So I have several of these that I'm going to be mentioning in this video. The focus of this video is going to be my favorite one, which is called the Sunflower, and that's brand new. Benjabel is a company out of Wisconsin, basically a little husband and wife team team thought up this idea of how to dry your brushes without letting water damage your brushes. You know, we're all washing our brushes under the sink. They're getting damp with water. When it comes to drying them, you definitely don't want to stand them up, you know, like this in a cup because all that water seeps down. But even when we lay them flat to dry, you're not really solving the problem of water getting down deep into these bristles and potentially damaging or loosening the bristles as they're down in this ferrule here. So the thought of the brush tree is that you're going to take your brush, even a big old daddy brush like this from Tarte, you're going to stick it up in the brush tree. It's going to hold it in this upside down manner so water is going in one direction and that's down and that's away from the inner workings of your brush right here. Well, I got started with the brush tree by a viewer named Susan who contacted me and said, you know, this brush tree is a really amazing thing. I want to send you one. She sent me the original Benjabel brush tree. They all go together the same way. You've got two base pieces here. One fits into the other, and then you snap your top right on there. And then that can sit right on top of your sink, your countertop. You've got these little openings here with this flexible um, silicone. Even if your brush is really big or kind of small, it's going to grip it. Then I felt the need to buy myself the mini size. So the mini is going to hold 24 thin brushes. So you can see size-wise the comparison to the large significantly smaller. I do have a video on how I do my brushes, but I'm still using my uh, Sigma Glove, which I've not stopped using since I got it, and I've been using baby shampoo. So anywho, I wash the brushes, I put the bigger ones in the larger brush tree, the skinny ones in this brush tree, and then Benjabel said, hey, we're coming out with something new, we want you to test it out, and it's the Sunflower. And moral of the story, this one is my favorite. It's got four large, six medium, and 16 thin areas to pop your brushes in. Now I want to make some something clear. If you were to just buy the original, you can still put multiple small brushes in one little opening and be fine. Like, you could totally live with just that one if you want to. But I really like this one because I feel like it just caters specifically to every brush that I might want to clean at any given time. I mean, this is probably my largest brush, this one from Tarte, and the large openings can completely accommodate that brush. Then you've got your medium-sized brushes. Yep that can go right in there. And then if I've got a real skinny eye brush, you've got little clusters in here that work for those kinds of brushes as well, and they hang straight down. The one thing you will notice is if you do try to put um, a smaller brush in a larger opening, it kind of pokes out sideways like that. No big deal, but like I said, this is just kind of cool because it caters to everything. And typically when I'm washing brushes, I'm washing a bunch of different sizes, you know? And it also does keep them all hanging separate as opposed to washing a buttload of brushes and then you've got them all like uh, laying on a towel with some on top of the other. You know, they've all got their little airspace to dry out. Another thing, a little accessory that I've got here is the spinner, which your brush tree, any size brush tree can sit in. and that That'll sit on my sink and then I can turn it around. I don't see the spinner as an absolute essential item. Like if you were to get a brush tree, I don't think you must have the spinner, but I do kind of like it because I have this brush tree sitting out in my guest bathroom sink a lot and Cupcake loves to jump up there and get at the sink anytime it's in use. This adds a bit more weight to the base of my brush tree and she is very unlikely to knock it over that way. I believe my brushes dry faster when they're hanging in this as opposed to when they're laying flat. And I've used the Sigma dry in shape, and for me that thing is practically like a turby twist for your brushes. It, it will squeeze your brush, you put it in the little elastic loop, and I feel like it gets an initial amount of moisture out of the brush, but ultimately I think the brush needs to be open to the air to really get dry, especially those very dense brushes. The original size is a fine option because, like I said, even small brushes can work in the larger spaces. I don't see the mini as being as important because it's only going to fit your small ones, not your large ones. And then this one's my favorite because it's just easy. Chances are when I'm cleaning my brushes, this is going to accommodate everything that I'm washing. I hope this was useful. Let me know if you have any questions and have a great day. Bye!